TCG has achieved in the last two decades tremendous progress. And since 2000, we have initiated an ecosystem of hardware, of software and firmware, and gathered key contributors uh, from the ecosystem of the networking companies like uh, Cisco, IBM, Juniper, and Huawei. Around 100 members are now participating in the Trusted Computing Group and contribute in the Worldwide Standard Definition Organization uh, or SDO. TCG has had a lot of successes, but I think one of the biggest ones is that we have established trusted computing as a day-to-day -day reality in people's lives. Now, I would say a household word, but probably in most households, it's not. <laughs> but people are using trusted computing and benefiting from it without even knowing it. So trusted computing is built into every Windows PC today. So anybody who's using Windows or using any of the many other devices that have a trusted platform module built in gets the benefit of trusted computing. They get that built-in security and uh, it benefits them in that they don't have to worry about their computer identity getting stolen. They don't have to worry about their stored data uh, being uh, stolen because it's protected with the strong security of the TPM. When I started working on TCG technologies, we had TPMs in a fraction of the commercial marketplace for commercial endpoint devices laptops and desktops. And over the last 20 years, we have achieved TPMs in every commercial and consumer laptop, desktop, and tablet shipping in the industry. Some of the other accomplishments TCG has had recently is it's really put out a lot of guidance documents uh, just to give implementers of security features kind of a, a set of rules or guidelines about how to approach security problems. I think those have been focused in different areas and, you know, depending on what you're implementing, there's publicly available free references that may help guide your implementations and products to be more secure that are worth taking a look at. TCGs Core technologies include specifications and standards for the Trusted Platform Module, the Trusted Networking Connect communication, the Network Security, and self-encrypting drives. TCG has decided to collaborate with IETF to identify, define, develop, produce and promote security standards generated by overall 20 different work groups. TCG also extends the core concept of trust into the cloud security. We promote virtualization and other services from the enterprise to the internet of things. There's work going on in IoT, at industrial. Um, all those things are kind of happening from this community of experts that collaborate together and try to find you know, new ways to solve existing security problems and have uh, just kind of new approaches and new technology that comes out of those. So in the world of the future, we have computing embedded not just in our laptops or our tablets or our mobile phones. We have computing embedded everywhere. It's in my headset. It's in the light bulbs. It's in my car, maybe driving my car. 
and in industrial systems as well. And if computing is so ubiquitous, then the threats that come with computing, cybersecurity threats, also become ubiquitous. And we have to make sure that the security technologies that we've developed over the last 20 years, the trusted computing technologies like TPM and TNC and self-encrypting drives, that those technologies, admittedly in an adapted form, but those fundamental technologies are included in those many ubiquitous computing or Internet of Things devices. And now it's a little different when you're talking about uh, including trusted computing in a car. <laughs> it's a little different from including it in your PC. Um, you can't just say, oh, you know, we're not going to boot up the car today because some hash didn't check out. No, you have to be able to start your car. Sometimes that's a matter of life or death. Now, there's an additional and I think very interesting challenge that has come, or it's actually over the horizon. And this is called quantum computing. So quantum technology, uh, I'm not going to go into the details, but uh, it will allow, when it reaches sufficient scale, all of our existing cryptographic algorithms, or almost all of them, to be broken and broken very quickly and inexpensively. That's sort of a scary thought, because we count on those things to keep us secure, to keep our online banking secure and the like. TCG needs to anticipate and mitigate future threats. We anticipated in the year 2000 about side channel attacks. Today, being in the 20s, we need to look into the threats and possibilities for the topics of quantum computing and supply chain attacks. In July this year, NIST announced the third round of candidates for the post-quantum cryptography standardization project and form for the first post-quantum cryptography standard, the baselines. The implementation of quantum-resistant trusted platform modules is then the ultimate next step. From my own personal experience, TCT has been a really, uh, almost like a way to learn about security concepts uh, without having to go, to go to a formal training program. You know, a lot of these calls are really focused on very specific security topics as they develop standards. But if you just can sit and listen and hear the experts talk about how they approach security and solve problems, it's really informative for, for how people go back and apply security knowledge in their career. I feel like the organization has really enriched my career and I've learned a lot uh, just through participation and, and trying to help develop standards. Um, it's really improved a lot of my skills and I think other people should think about that as, as something that could be beneficial for their career too.